Hello, my besties. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to another bunny makeover video. Highly requested and seems like my besties don't get tired of this. So let's do one more. <laughs> bunny, 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 you're so funny with your twitching nose. And the inspiration for today's video is this Dollar Tree placemat. Do you like these colors? I love it. I especially like that it's lined with a different fabric in the back and it looks like it's gonna make nice outfits for the bunnies. <laughs> Let's give it a try. And of course you can use any fabric that you have around. So I have a vision for my boy to have a nice fancy long coat for Easter. First, we measuring the length about six inches and we are going to cut along sideways. And the best part is that the three sides are finished already. Nice finished edge. And we're going to put it on him so it's blue with flipped sides so you can see a little bit of design. I apologize, but for the ease of this project, I have to rip out Bunny's arms. Sorry, honey, you're gonna be okay. I wonder if any of you have the leftover lace from Valentine's Day, Dollar Tree was selling this. If not, you can use any other trim, but we are going to insert it in between two layers of fabric. Cut it to size and hot glue at the top and bottom. And excuse my Tweety Bird, um, she likes to sit on my camera and watch me craft. <laughs> and look at this, so nice and fancy with the lace, right? Oh, I don't like that I cut that heart in half, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to fold in the center, flip out the sides like this, and then the top one more time. Tweety, don't interrupt, please. Fold an edge and flip out like a collar at the top. We will use the pin to hold it down for now. Ouch. <laughs> it's anesthetic, so you don't suffer from too much pain, Bunny. <laughs> Look what I just got at the Dollar Tree. It's a newest find. It's a sequin sheet. Isn't that pretty? It's actually reverse sequence, so you can play around with it but I think it look, looks better in iridescent actually. And I'm thinking to make a nice fancy vest for the bunny. Just mark around the coat and when you cut it out, it's going to be like a rhombus shape. And even though I'm making everything very easy, uh, I will still create a pattern for you because last time I remember many of you asking, so. I have that available for you. I'll post it in my DIY Besties group. It's a free group on Facebook. We will use the pearl pushpins from the Dollar Tree as buttons. So when you flip your collar, just push it down and again, fold it over at the bottom and then at the top and just use another pushpin to hold it down. Of course, we will reinforce everything with hot glue because, you know, pushpins are not long enough to hold this down. But just so you see my idea here. All right, and once you're happy how everything looks, you can glue it down. If there's any strings, cut them away, of course. And then you can glue down the collar. And then I decide to add the second row of buttons. So this is going to be like a double chested blazer with the ruffles. <laughs> Very fancy fella, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it opens up a little bit at the top here. And I know it's sexy, uh, but I think we want to add a shirt for him. I have a cuff left over from my uh, daughter's shirt. Remember, I made this wreath just recently. So I'm glad I left this little piece. Um, it's perfect with the buttons already attached. And I cut it like a V-shape to insert it right there. And I forgot that I already glued that jacket there. And I'm sorry, I'm ripping you out with the skin, with the fur, <laughs> a little bit chest waxing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just insert that right in and glue it down. And look how fancy that looks. I also made a bow for him, but I'm debating whether I should add it or not. I actually think it takes away from all the detail at the top. So fancy bunny, but no bow. It's of course personal preference. If you don't add a shirt, maybe you could add it a bow. Up to you. And now to add the sleeves, I think the easiest way will be to insert his arms um, right in that placemat. And why not just use the edge on the side that's already done? So we are going to cut out little rectangles, cut to size, and then uh, make sure they're matching. <laughs> This is how it's going to look. And how about we add some raffle there too? So let's just insert that lace on the inside. And then let's glue it on the inside as well. Just fold in that edge. One dry, turn it over to the right side. And then just insert the arms right in. And wait a minute, I had this idea to have the sleeves in uh, pink, but now as I flip them over, I kind of like blue better, right? So I'm gonna switch it up. Let me know what you like better. And I'm going to turn these sleeves inside out one more time. I'm going to pinch it at the top there and use a floral wire to tie it down. I want to make like a puffed sleeve. So when you turn it back out, it should be nice and puffy at the top. How easy was that? And now you just insert the arm right in. Very cute. We're ready to glue everything in. First the arm in the sleeve and then the sleeve to the coat. We're gonna leave it out to dry and make a quick top hat for the fancy fella. I'm so glad I saved this small piece of this uh, glitter foam one day because guess what? It's just gonna be the perfect size for the brim for the hat. So first uh, we trace around a circle and then cut it out. And then we are going to make the cylinder part out of the tube from the toilet paper and cut out the sequence to cover it up. And then trace around the tube and cut out one more foam circle for the top of the hat. And this is how we are going to pull it all together.
To finish off the edges, we are going to use these pearl stickers from the Dollar Tree. And is this the cutest top hat ever or what? Sequins, glitter, and pearls. Can't get better than that. <laughs> Close your eyes for a moment. I'm sorry. I gotta do this. <laughs> I promise to glue them right back. But first, we have to cut and insert some wire in those ears. Uh, just so we're gonna be able to bend and shape them, you know? So just... Uh, bend that wire uh, like a shape of the ear insert it right in add some hot glue at the bottom and uh, pinch it and you can use the wire sticking out at the bottom to wrap around there repeat the same steps with the second ear and then hot glue them on both sides of the top hat Okay, we're ready to put him back together. For finished touch, we are going to use some boa feather from the Dollar Tree. And I know the bunny doesn't have feathers, but uh, I believe white boa looks kind of like a rabbit fur. And we are going to insert pieces all around the hat and a little bit in his feet for that cute bunny fluffy look. Missing? Yeah, bunny tail. <laughs> We're gonna use one of these pom-poms from the Dollar Tree or a snowball, whatever you might have on hand. Do you think he needs a cherry on top? How about a key ring and a piece of broken chain? Attach one to the other. And any idea where I'm going with this? Yes, a monocle. <laughs> Isn't that a perfect cherry on top? Please give me those little cherry emojis if you agree. I'm just gonna Put a dab of hot glue at the bottom of the chain and attach it to his raffle there. A little finishing touch. I'm going to use some string to wrap around the buttons there. I got these stickers from the Dollar Tree because there was this uh, clock there and I think it's going to make like a perfect pocket watch for him. And the funny thing is that my son was just here showing me his new deodorant he got and he left this little plastic circle here. When I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like a perfect watch cover. <laughs> Some things just fell in place, guys. So I just use a little bit of hot glue on the edges and attach it to the top of my sticker and then glue it to the bunny. Like it's sticking out of his packet, but I'm not gonna cover it up with the packet. There's also this metal circle that was there. So I'm gonna use that as a knob 
for the watch and attach a little piece of chain too. Why not? Might as well go all the way and make it look more real. And then attach the other end of the chain to his hand. Bunny, 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 you're so funny with your twitching nose. I'm going to attach one more embellishment in the back. And I wasn't too happy with the way I attached the shrink around the buttons, so I just fixed it up with two loops. And I think I like this better that way. And I think I'm satisfied. Take a look at him. And I'm sorry, girl, but he is way out of your league. I don't know what we're going to do about you, but it's not going to be easy. <laughs> These are the leftovers we have. And what do you think? Can we do her justice? Comment, let me know. We need to make a big statement. So I decide to use a salad bowl. Yes, this is one of those cheap bowls from, I believe, Panera salad. <laughs> I'm going to cut out a top. Not exactly, the, her size a little bit tighter fit, so it stays on her, doesn't fall down. And what is he doing? Turn around, no peeking. Wait for the final reveal at the end. So where were we? Oh yes, a nice big ball gown. Except we don't have that much fabric left at all, uh, but we're going to make it work. So let's just divide it in half and, and when we glue it together, it should work. But first, let's insert that lace, just how we did it with his coat. I think it's gonna look so pretty. Can you see it already? Let's glue the two pieces together. And then let's glue two ends together. This is our skirt. We have some extra width, so we are going to pinch, add a little bit of hot glue, and make little pleats all around there. And just so we don't have to hold for a long time, we are using binder clips. And we are going to repeat it all around the skirt. All right, as it all dries, remove the clips and let's try it on. All right, there's still room for adjustment, but we can do this later on her. Uh, first, let's attach uh, the hem at the bottom to the ball because that way we have the length set, right? All right, let's try this on, young lady. Very nice, very flattering on you. Hides your hips. <laughs> and we are going to adjust the waist now, just to add a little bit of hot glue all around the top of that bowl and press down so the fabric sticks to it.
All right, so we got a nice full skirt and now I'm thinking to add a sequence at the top. How about strapless, huh? <laughs> and this is how much we have left. Uh, we can cut off that top. We're not gonna need it. And the remainder, I guess if we cut in half and glue it together, that should be enough uh, to wrap around her chest. This is about an inch and a half width. And like I said, I'm gonna prepare a pattern for you. Very simple, but some of you might be more comfortable having a pattern, so I'll do that for you. Tweety, you gotta stop jumping around like that. You're distracting my besties, I apologize. And just like we did with the top hat, I have the pink pearl stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to finish off the edge of the sequence. They stick very well to it. And uh, we're gonna make a nice tube top for her. And that way we don't have to rip out her arms. <laughs> I have some leftover fur trim. I don't know where I ripped it out of, possibly my daughter's boots, but I saved it uh, thinking about crafts and I think it's gonna make a nice fur wrap for her. What do you think? Like I said, we gotta take it up a notch here because she can't look any worse than him. <laughs> and you know, if you don't have any fur, I guess you could use the boa feathers from the Dollar Tree as well. And um, if you have um, an old coat, for example, that has a fur in, uh, in around the hood, that could be useful. You know, don't throw it out. <laughs> and again, we're gonna reinforce everything with hot glue, attach it to her back and shoulders and look how fancy. Oh my goodness, I just love her. <laughs> And now we have to do something about her head. So let's start with the ears. I'm just cutting little slits with the detail scissors and we are going to insert the wire in her ears. So we make them bendable and no need to cut her ears off uh, this time. <laughs> we can insert the wire ends uh, right in her head, just like that. And look how cute, much better already, right? Repeat the same thing in the other ear. To cover up the scars, we are going to attach the feathers with some hot glue and give her some needed hair, right? Oh, I kind of like this on the side. Hmm, nice face frame, right? I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Let's also add some hair to her feet. Bunny, 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 you're so funny. When my daughter's tiara broke, I didn't have a heart to toss it out because it was so pretty. And I'm so glad I saved it because now it comes in handy. Just perfect for the queen. <laughs> I'm using a lot of hot glue to glue it down to her head in pieces. And ooh, it makes it her head a little bit heavy. <laughs> but look at that, oh my gosh gorgeous or what? I think I want to give her a little bit more hair between the ears. Just little finishing touches like that. 
raise up her uh, fur wrap in the back so it doesn't cover up too much of that beautiful sequence. Of course, I have to add her a cat and tail. She is still a bunny after all. <laughs> Just trying to make it flat on one side and stick it on there for fun. Why not? Oh my gosh, <laughs> too cute. And the cherry on top? Who needs a cherry, a big diamond, like a J-Lo type? <laughs> Again, I'm gonna use a piece of an old chain to make like a band and the girl has only three fingers so <laughs> we're gonna attach it right there in the middle and then glue the big rock. If you are still watching, please give me diamond emojis. And here's the final reveal and watch through the end for one more surprise. When I saw this little patio umbrella at the Dollar Tree Toys Department, I couldn't help myself because I knew we could make a perfect accessory here. I'm gonna use some white spray paint inside and outside. Just one coat, I was lazy, didn't wanna wait too long. Uh, the pole is way too short, it's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is just replace it with a large uh, flower stem and just glue it in there. much better and we are going to bend the bottom and make a nice handle so we can hook it around her arm let's see perfect or what of course we want to take it up a notch we are going to add a trim of these white little pom-poms from the dollar tree i think i got them at christmas time but they have all other pastel colors right now out for Easter. So you can make it colorful if you like. Just adding a little bit of hot glue all around and take a look at this. Let's just fluff it up. What can we finish this off with? How about a nice big pearl on top? There's a perfect spot right there. and maybe we could add one more at the handle. comment let me know how do you like the parasol idea just because they're on dollar tree project doesn't mean they cannot have pretty things and same goes for you besties this is what this channel is all about i hope you like and please share with your besties as well let's spread the love and fun <laughs> happy easter Did you like that? I hope you did. Please press thumbs up 
And also, if you want to meet me here next time, press the subscribe button and the little notification bell, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>